Taurus, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. I hope all is well. Let's get into your reading. Oh boy, um, eight of fire in reverse, the sun in reverse, five of air in reverse, the village, which is the tower in reverse, death and upright, which is Iku in this deck, and the man, which is the star in reverse. Um, what I'm getting immediately is there is something good that's about to happen and it's currently being worked out behind the scenes for you. And it is very essential, highly essential that you don't know much about it because you would fuck it up if you did. It would either stop you from moving forward or stop you from doing what you're already doing. It's the, what, the best way for this to work out for you is if you know nothing about it. Mm. On the other hand, you got a hopeless energy that's coming towards you. This is the third time. You my fourth reading so far, Taurus, okay? And this is the uh, third time I've got this message. Honey, you have someone around you or that's coming towards you that does not have good health. Uh, they could have contracted something through sex and they want to give it to you. They're just passing it around. They know that they got it, whether they done went to the doctor or not. Some of them are avoiding going to the doctor because they already know what the doctor going to say. But they passing out the gift that keeps on giving. And I don't know if you can get rid of this. Now, you being protected, like this person don't know where you live. They don't know what side of town you on. They don't even know if you in town. Some of you guys could live at a distance, but still frequent in your hometown here and there. This person is jealous of you. They don't want you to move on with nobody else. And they are willing to give you the same illness that they have. If that means bound by bond, bonding you to them, bounding you to them. This is a lover that is psychotic, narcissistic, reckless as fuck, and very jealous of you. Very jealous of you. This could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Scorpio, or Aquarius, or you can have those placements in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, node, wherever. Child, like you got somebody coming towards you that literally ain't shit and you need to avoid this person at all cost because they don't mean you any good. They don't even care about them. So how the fuck they going to care about you? They don't want you to do better than them and they will try to seduce you and fuck with your health. They, you on the brink of being successful for something if you're not already. And they jealous of that. Jealous. Yes. Some of you guys could have just got a breast argumentation. This person don't want you to do better within them or better without them. You got the empress at the bottom of the day. This is what you don't see coming. And I feel like this is part of why... The first message came out. Whatever it is that you're doing is very important to your growth and for you to stay committed to whatever spirit needs you to do on your part to get your prayers answered. And if you knew everything that they was doing, it would stop you or, or yeah, it would stop you from, from doing the work, the needed work that you're doing now, although you don't realize it. Yeah. Two of 
of air in reverse. Communication issues. Somebody may be pissed that they can't reach you or talk to you. Huh. And they might have been the reason that the communication issues existed in the first place. So... They didn't want to talk to you, and now they mad because they don't have access to you when they're ready to talk. I don't know, but okay. This could be a Libra, too, or you can have it in your chart, honey. Yep. Cut this person off. Don't even answer the phone when they call. Leave them on red. Shit, don't even read it. You got a better opportunity in love coming, and it's going to involve you being single for a minute. But not for a long time. Your money will improve before your love life will. This card, the four of earth, is Capricorn energy. And it talks about how you reach your level of success. But it involves you being single. And it involves you being cautious about the people that you do decide to be romantically involved with. Which probably not isn't many people. You probably... uh. You probably are a target to some people, Taurus. People might just want to be with you because of what they can get from you. So maybe it's not the right time to really focus on love right now anyway. But I feel like... Yeah, I feel like your money, your career, right now is the time for you to focus on stacking your money up. And um, after you reach a certain level with your success and career... That's when love will be available. This person that's coming towards you is somebody that you already know. Please stay away from them. The angels is not blessing this. God, I, I, with, with the guardian angel in reverse, they're not blessing this reunion with this past person. If you decide to step out of the covenant, that's on you. If you decide to step out of the covenant, that is clearly on you. You can't say you ain't no better. You can't know it, it'll be your choice. And whatever consequences come with that, you just got to live with it and deal with it. But it would be wise if you waited it out a little bit for something better to come. And it's just not ready yet. Yeah. Yeah. You got lovers, ex-lovers, people that you grew up with that's jealous as fuck of you. Now, don't get me wrong. With the star being here in reverse and then karma at the bottom of the deck, I could be talking to a tourist placement that gets some type of recognition and some type of attention online or in their community, whatever you do, right? And although you have people that love you, you got people that equally can't stand your ass. That's waiting to catch you slipping so they could like do bodily harm to you. For real. I don't know what you're doing. Your body looks good too. Something is aesthetically pleasing. It's like the better you, the better off you are, the more people hate you. But more people admire you too, which is causing the hate. All this good stuff you deserve. But when it comes to the, the negative energy, you got to stay in alignment with the energy that got you this success in the first place. Because if you step out of the covenant, you're not protected no more from the crazies or the psycho dick or psycho coochie ass infested private part ass bitch from your past. I don't know. Mm-mm. Yeah, it took me a little longer. I was on this for almost 10 minutes, but um, let's get into the tarot. Yep, right now, focus on your money. You got the emperor, could be talking to an empress. And you got the three of pentacles. Right now is the time for you to build stability. You got the six of pentacles and give it to people that deserve it. Your family come first. Your career comes first. 
And if you've been doing something on magic, in regards to magic or your aesthetics or like improving your image or something like that, it's working. If you guys did some type of ritual or altar work to kind of like help you get in shape or help you be more attractive, it's working. And uh, you can expect to get more popularity online if you're doing something online with the world being here. You are so close to completing some type of cycle that is essential for your growth and for you to get to this next stage of success in just life. Better life, you know, better living for that matter. And with the emperor being here, uh, three of pentacles, six of pentacles, ten of cups, take care of your family, focus on your money, and focus on your health and your aesthetics right now. It's like you in the preparation phase. And I did say this for Leo. And I said at first, because I, I just did day readings, at first I said, hey, Leo, you may be going towards a, uh, you may be leaving an earth sign. And or a water sign to go towards the air sign or fire sign. But when I did a separate spread, I saw more earth and water. And I, I, yeah. So I don't know if you have Leo in your chart. Or if you gonna meet a Leo. Because I got Aries, Leo, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Yeah. And more Leo and Taurus with the world being here. And Scorpio and Aquarius. Yeah, it's a process. This is why you can't know so much. Because it takes you off of what the fuck you supposed to be doing in the first place. It takes you away from what you need to be working on to, to continue to attract whatever this is. That's why they hiding so much from you. Because they don't want you to know. But it's good for your family. You could be going to a family reunion. You could have a cousin that's a witch low key. But this person is nice. You could have a cousin that's a witch slash entrepreneur that you may meet at a family reunion. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I clarified the Queen of Wands and, and I got the um the Queen of Cups. The back of the Queen of Cups, which is good. This is somebody that's focused on self-love and uh being the best version of themselves. And if you are a witch, you seem to be a nice one. And if you have a relative, because I got the Ten of Cups here, that may be a witch, they seem to be on, on the good side too. And they are different sides. I mean, this could be religion based. Or you could have like this type of spiritual power in your bloodline from your ancestors. And it could be on your mother's side. Not your. It, some, I don't know. I got the emperor here. So it could be on your father's side too. But if I had to choose. I'm going to say mother. I got two queens and an emperor here. So it may be stronger on your mother's side. Somebody's going to feel real stupid if they make the wrong choice between two different women. Well, let me see. Tell me about this queen of wands. Okay, the Queen of Wands is the witchy person, but she the safe person. Or this could be a King of Wands too, but I clarified this and I got the Ace of Cups. Okay, let me see. Well, tell me about this, the Queen of Cup energy as it pertains to love is clarified by the devil. And I know I just went from one thing to the next so you may want to rewind that if you didn't catch it me switch from one message to the next looks can be very deceiving Taurus please be careful when you making choices in love because the person that is the sweetest and the nicest and the most attractive and they might even fuck you the best maybe the most toxic and the one that seems the weakest and the love and the most loving is really the strongest and uh Probably a whole ass witch. <laughs> I ain't trying to be. 
trying to be funny, but yeah. I don't know. Some of y'all may find yourself in the future or at this moment torn between two people. And I'm telling you, looks can be deceiving. Vet, vet, them, vet them out a little bit more before you get rid of one. You might make the wrong choice and end up finding out some shit ain't real. Look at that tower. It's the mask coming off. Being struck down by the lightning of God. And the, and the chariot at the bottom. You could be torn between a fire sign or a cancer Scorpio Pisces. Be careful. Somebody wearing a mask and it looks like it's the water sign. Okay. Um, that was all over the place, but I hope y'all follow me. Let's get some financial messages. Oh, yeah, you manifesting money, getting financial assistance, hands-on work, or help getting a job. And some of you guys are discovering hidden talent, getting in sales, or getting into an industry where you have worry-free finances and have enough money to pay your bills, save some money, and, you know, go splurge or, or treat yourself, which is good. So your finances is looking up, which is why this should be your primary focus at this time. Love will work itself out. Let me see. Um... What are your predictions for September? You're going to feel tied down and frustrated when it comes to the work field, but it's going to make sure it's going to ensure that you have a lot of success and it's going to build your character and your expertise. Um, it looks like you will be taking a break off work in the near future and be able to let your hair down or relax. I'm sorry. I don't know why my nose is itching in this area um, all of a sudden. I apologize. <laughs> it's not running. It's just really itching. It's very irritating. But um, anyway, get ready for lighthearted carefree time. And you're getting help with some type of problem that needs to be resolved also that's been weighing you down and making you feel frustrated and taking up a lot of your time. No. Use this one. Somebody's birthday could be in March. Something significant could have happened in March. You're going to find yourself getting out of a situation that you don't want to be in that's been hard for you to detach from and your intuition is developing. Your third eye is opening up and you're becoming more aware and understanding your energy and the people energy around you. You're getting rid of an arrogant, boastful person and um, getting back on the right road to success. So really cutting people off that just don't serve you. Seeing people for who they really are, it's going to disappoint you, but it's going to help you, you know, put your foot down and just stay committed to the most important things, the genuine things in your life. People are not going to like that, but oh well, you know. Let's see. Um, how does the person on your mind feel about you? Uh-oh. They feel like you betrayed them for another lover. They still like you, though. This person is focused on their money. They want you to come towards them. They feel like you ghosted them. They feel like you owe them an apology. Yeah, they blaming you. Am I saying it's right or wrong? No, shit. Anybody could be watching this, and no sign is a saint. So if it's not your story, it just ain't. Uh, but it, this person is blaming you. They blame you for everything. They could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Libra, another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, they blaming you. I'm not going to even keep reading this. They want you to do all the work. They want you to come towards them. They want you to make the offer because they feel like you the one fucked everything up. Whether you did or not, shit. They're accusing you of having some type of health issue. They're saying you the one got the health issue with the four of swords being here and they staying away from you because of that. Somebody, so everything that I read for a Taurus earlier today, unless I'm talking about a Taurus dealing with another Taurus, this is somebody saying this about you, like you the one passing out STDs. Hmm. 
They want some type of truth to come out. And this person feel like you owe them some money. They're guarded. They have memories of you. They think about you. They're surprised you haven't come towards them. They're, they, they've been anticipating you to come towards them. And they're surprised that you haven't done it yet. This could be a Sagittarius, a Scorpio. Yeah, I gave all the signs. Yep. Yep. Uh, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra. I'm not about to keep reading that. Either it's your story or it ain't. Okay. Um, how do you feel about them? That was weird. You have regrets. You're ignoring them. You have regrets. You wonder if you did things the right way. You didn't feel like it was nothing wrong with you walking away and going to your pursuit of happiness. But you wonder if you're happy now. Because this back of this King of Wands talks about the king reevaluating everything and asking himself, was it worth it? Was it all worth it? And apparently it wasn't for some of y'all. With the two of swords here, you could be ignoring this person on purpose, or you could feel like they're ignoring you on purpose, but you're wondering if you did things the right way with this person, and, it, and you feel like there's no harm, or there shouldn't be no harm, and you doing what makes you happy, and nobody should hold that against you, like doing whatever you wanted to do to make yourself happy. But it's, it seems like you're even questioning if you're happy with your own choices. You feel like this person spy on you and ride past your house. <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay. It, yeah, you can have Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio in your chart. <laughs> or they can, because that's a weird, uh, okay. <laughs> How are the angels and spirit guides helping Taurus? This, this is interesting. <laughs> I'm going to leave that there. That, damn. I got to reshuffle them too many cards. Okay. So you got the Empress. Fertility and fruitfulness assures peace between married couples. And just, you don't have to necessarily be married, but this could be an ex spouse or a, you attracting a future spouse, but it's a healthier relationship. Um, with the Three of Wands, you're manifesting something, and God wants you to keep hoping whatever it is that you're manifesting with the construction of the universe, helping with great works, and you're being protected from adversaries. And with the Tower being here, you're you're getting some type of disruption, and you're being warned of some type of disaster, and you're being aided in your transformation. So there will be a ruffling of the feathers, but nothing that's going to knock you off course just to get your attention so you can stay grounded, stay focused, and stay committed to whatever the universe universe wants you to stay committed to and then you got the seven of swords here for knowledge of good and evil so it's making things crystal clear for you so you can make the right choice and if you don't make the right choice you know exactly why and you will be well aware of what consequences come behind that and it talks about appeasing divine anger and curse and, and curing epilepsy epilepsy so yeah uh somebody could twitch in their sleep or they could, I don't know, their body could make movements without them wanting it to, like with on its own. I don't know. Somebody uh, doesn't have control of their body all the time. You could be getting help with that, but please go see a doctor. Your temper is being... Uh, healed so so you're less angry less agitated people have a hard time pissing you off that's what the angels are helping you with your temper they're helping you get through some type of transformation 
uh, a way stopping you from doing things stopping you from doing things the old ways and helping you adopt a new way of doing things that's bringing in growth some of you guys could be expecting a child I'm hearing when a man finds a woman, he finds a good thing. I don't know, but child, good luck. Okay, this could be another Taurus, an Aquarius, a Libra, a Leo, a Scorpio. Let's get into your crystal healing messages. you got um amber forgive it to god take a deep breath and on the exhale release the situation to god for healing and answer so something is clearly out of your control anyway and you don't have no choice but to give it to the lord and then you got jay for wellness the recovery of health and wellness is here i was picking up on okay all right y'all all right focus on your health and then you got uh purification and detoxification it's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life so we did touch on that a little bit too you know getting rid of people and you know just adopting a healthier lifestyle from who you hang with what you watch on tv what you listen to on the radio whatever you know who you deal with sexually platonically all of that what you eat, all of that. But give me a kiss. I love you. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Taurus.